Alright guys, here's one of my nice yards. Uh, as you can see, punched up all this bank. Still need some more over here. But, uh, yeah, we did this whole bank over here. You can see it all the way over to those, where those rocks come down. And I cleaned those rocks up there. Did all this. This is some more of that grass that I cut all during the winter. So, it's looking good. Trimmed all these shrubs at the first shrub trimming of the year and all this. Got new straw. As you can see, the grass is greening up. Yeah, did all this stuff. I planted a couple of magnolia trees up there. We got a uh, Alright, boys. So, we got a, uh, Something from Echo, because I can see through the paper that has Echo on the paper. It says safety recall. Wonder what this is about. Must be something with the 8010. All right, look at. Um, that's the Spanish side. Let's see. Um. Two owners of Echo PB8010, PBH Cooperation U.S. Consumer Safety Commission and Corp Echo is recalling certain Echo backpack blowers and replacement shoulder straps. These products and straps were sold between August 2018 and February 2020 throughout the United States and Canada by independent Echo dealers and online at Home Depot and Granger and other things. The problem, shoulder straps, plastic buckles, or the anti-static wire can be drawn into the fan causing the fan to break apart and allow plastic pieces to be expelled through the blower fan housing impose a laceration and impact hazard to the operator. The expelled plastic pieces also can cause injury to bystanders. Our records indicate that you may have purchased a product subject to this recall. You should discontinue use of this product immediately and contact your local Authorized Echo service dealer for free repair of your blower. Please refer to the Versailles letter for further details. I guess what it's about is just the, uh, maybe like, because the buckle is long enough, long enough where the, the end may like wrap around and like get caught in the fan or something. The upper stitching may come loose from harness, allowing plastic buckles to become detached and become drawn to the blower fan. But see, it's a crazy thing because I was blowing off my wife's parents' roof a while back and uh, they had this crazy little dog and the little dog ended up, I set it down on the ground for a minute and I went inside for a little bit and the dog like ate the little, the little pla like maybe that much of the slack off on, on both of the straps of my 8010. So, <laughs> The dog may have like um, taken care of it, you know, because I don't think it can reach into there. And I, I haven't had any unstitching or anything. So they sent one to Tony and Anthony Rudolph, I guess somehow, I don't know. It's another one of the same thing. So I don't know if I need to do anything about this or not. You know, but because mine seems totally fine. Um, so, yeah. So I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, buddy. So, all right guys, lately I've been doing a lot of this. Probably like almost 1,500 bales now. I just did a few more houses the other day, so. So I got 25. This is long leaf. I got 25 in each row. You know what I mean? Five, five stack five times, you know what I mean? So I got this five times and I had another 50 bales here. I put it out at one house yesterday. Anyway, I've been up to a lot of this lately. So you guys let me know if you do any pine straw. All right, boys. Uh, doing the very first Skag V-Ride blade sharpening. 
the very first one ever. I apologize, River's in the background. He's kind of running around with me here. Um, today is Easter Sunday, and I'm trying to edit this up. But anyway, I didn't. I wanted to video the very first blade sharpening of this mower because I didn't really know how it worked. Because it's weird how it has those bolts on the bottom. The bolts run up through the top, and there's a nut on the top. Um, but it's pretty easy. You just jack the mower up like normal. And I took my impact wrench and just take the the top bolt off, and then those the top nut rather, and then that whole bolt will just slide down through. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So it's it's actually really easy. Uh, just a little bit more of, of a pain than, than the ones where it just has the bolt underneath the bottom. But some spindles are like that. Like I had a Toro walk behind, a little 36-inch fixed deck. A uh, pretty nice little walk behind. I had it a couple years ago, if y'all remember. Um, that one, had, it was the same way. And uh, I didn't like it at the time. But see, I didn't have an impact wrench like I do now, so it was hard, you know, because I was up under there, I propped the board and, you know, and all that junk. So, it is not bad when you, if you have an impact wrench, you know, you can just take that nut off the top. So, man, I appreciate you guys, just the whole lawn care community in general, just so many cool things coming up this year. So, y'all stay tuned.